vote tonight in our caucus for the uh, minority leader for the DFL in the House, and I'm really honored uh, to have been selected by my caucus to serve that role. Uh, it's a caucus that represents every single part of this state, and we see ourselves as a caucus that's going to continue to represent every part of the state. Uh, and I'm very excited to, to get to work uh, working on the transition uh, and making sure that Minnesotans are well served in the next session with the huge challenges that we're facing. So how do you see your role as minority leader? Are you going to be a junkyard dog type or some other approach? Uh, I think that we need to articulate democratic values very clearly. Uh, the Republicans have been elected by the people of Minnesota and the legislature to govern. Uh, we're going to hold them accountable uh, for governing. I'm, I'm just curious if one of the values, because Health and Human Services has been your, is your election here have something to say about that? Getting with the values. Uh, certainly, that's a, uh, making sure that all Minis you know, Minnesotans have access to health care is a um, is a critical value for for Democrats and I think for Minnesotans. Uh, but that was not what was fundamentally driving this election. How many ballots were there in there, and how many candidates were there? Uh, is close. I, it, do we talk about that? I, I mean, we we have a close caucus, and we close it for that reason. Were you the only candidate? So, no. Can you say how many candidates? I can't. I don't think we should talk about that. No. Just to respect. Uh, I'm really honored uh, by it. I've had a lot of conversations over the last, well, several months, not about this with members, but over the last two days, and and um, and they've been really valuable to me. Why did you decide to throw your hat in the ring for this position? I think that I have um, some of the skill set that we're going to need uh, to be effective at. Uh, making sure that we move ahead on, a, on an agenda that's good for Minnesotans. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to working with Senator Bach uh, to, uh, to accomplish that and with, and with the Republicans as well. Just when you say the skill set, can you just point to a couple things? Uh, I think a familiarity with the entire state uh, is, is really important. Uh, I think uh, an ability to communicate uh, a message uh, with a whole variety of people in the state and do it uh, in a way that, um, that they can understand. I think that's really important. Are you assuming that uh, Dayton is going to become governor? And if so, what do you see the minority's role, you know, with a Democrat in, in the governor's office? If that uh, is? Well, Mark Dayton clearly is going to become the next governor. I mean, he won by a substantial, you know, thousands and thousands of votes. Um, and I think uh, our role is going to be working both with the Senate and with the administration uh, to help uh, Mark Dayton pursue his agenda. Uh, but we are the legislature. And we are going to, um, you know, make sure that we uh, can weigh in as a caucus as well. So we'll work together uh, and hopefully have some very productive discussions moving forward. The one characteristic that you would bring when you when you think about yourself in this role, what is the characteristic that you, Representative Paul Thiessen, brings to this role? Um, someone that's going to work incredibly hard. Okay. <clears throat> one more question on procedure: Was it a unanimous vote? I don't know, and the ballots were destroyed, so I, I honestly don't know the answer to that. How would you say you're, you're, what, how would you describe the style you think you're going to take as a minority leader, speaking on the floor and things like that? We're used to pretty combative people in those roles. Yeah, well, I think that uh, I think that Minnesotans are looking uh, for for uh, a real, honest debate on real issues, and we're going to be focused on talking about uh, real issues. You know, I don't think Minnesotans want someone that's going to be out there. Um, talking about things that are and playing games, you know. So we're going to be a caucus that's going to be uh, very disciplined in talking about the issues that are important to Minnesotans. And when we think that the Republicans are doing something that's not going to be good for Minnesota, we're going to call them on it and hold them accountable uh, for how they're governing. But, uh, but well, so that's the kind of the leadership that I want to bring because I think that reflects where our caucus is. So thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah.